Hello and welcome to the Ingrain Social Media channel. I am your host, Mandy. Today we're going to discuss how the PTA can use social media to fundraise and to disseminate information to parents to get them on board and get them involved. There is great opportunity in using social media to connect with people, which is why it's such a powerful tool for businesses, but it's a powerful tool for nonprofits and organizations as well. And if your PTA is not already using social media, it's something you really ought to consider and getting a policy in place to do that so that you can utilize this tool to not only do fundraising efforts, but to get parents involved and informed. Um, the old fashioned way of doing things for a parent teacher organization is to send papers home in their kids' backpacks. But as a parent myself, I can tell you a lot of it gets overlooked or the importance of it isn't stressed enough. And so it kind of just gets set aside or maybe gets it thrown away altogether. We're just so overwhelmed with the other things that we have to look at, like homework, notes from teachers, that a lot of times the stuff that comes from the PTA either doesn't appear to be that important or we have the best intentions and we just don't get back to it later. This creates um, an issue for the PTA who is trying to get parents either to volunteer for activities, which they struggle with, to fundraise, which is a big one because they do so many great things for our schools, or to just simply inform parents of something that's happening. Using social media is a great way to connect directly with those people. You can target people based on their interests and their activities or just a whole community if you wanted to do that. So I wanna to talk to you about the, um, on Facebook specifically, we're going to really just talk about Facebook here today because that's going to be the most likely platform where a PTA can connect with the parents online. Most people have a Facebook account. Not everybody is on Instagram or Twitter or Snapchat would just be kind of a crazy way to connect for a PTA, although it might be a little bit of fun. So when we're talking about Facebook, there are two ways that you can set up a Facebook account for a PTA organization. The first one is to create a Facebook group. Now, the benefit to having a group is that unlike a page, it is managed by individuals. Anybody can join the page. They get notified when there's posts. They can add friends and family, and it's a little bit more interactive than a page. However, having a page for your PTA group allows you to run ads, which you aren't able to do from a group. So if you think fundraising or targeting information might be something you're going to want to do, you should have a page set up, and you can have both a page and a group if you feel that that's appropriate. You do have to understand, however, that there has to be somebody to manage these and they have to be actively engaged with what's happening on both the page and the group. And so depending on time constraints, there could that could change what you decide to set up or how you decide to do it. Whether you set up a group or a page, it is important to make sure that you are actively engaged, actively posting, and actively providing valuable information. This will make it so that people are staying in contact with what you're doing and that Facebook is not penalizing you in their algorithm. And that goes into a much more complex topic. So we won't go there today, but just know it's very important if you do decide to set up a page or a group that you're active in doing it and it's not a passive thing. You cannot just um, start posting when you have an event or when you have something coming up. It's, it's really important that you're posting year round all the time, keeping parents informed and engaged with what's happening in the school. So fundraising. I was just asked recently what a fundraising campaign looks like for the PTA. And I have some really um, interesting thoughts on that and ideas. Normally, what would happen with a PTA fundraiser is that they would do like an auction or event or like a jogathon and they would send a form home, ask people to pledge. And what we've seen happen is that um, it can be challenging to get people engaged. There's a lot of work behind it. 
and you're constantly asking people for money because the fundraisers aren't drumming enough money. So there's different fundraisers all the time. With a Facebook ad, we can target people where they are and right from their computer, they can make the donation without having to go look for their checkbook, without having to go find that form the PTA sent home. And it makes it very effortless, which means that they are more likely to donate. So your donation percentages are gonna be higher. Keeping these things in mind, it's definitely worth it to take from the PTA fund to run a few ads. And you can do anything you want. You can try it with like maybe $20 or $50 and see what works best for you. In Facebook ads, you can target people based on interest. So you can actually target people that live in or around your school area. So you are most likely to get parents, which, um, and you can target them based on the page that they like too. So if they already like your page, they're probably a parent of the school. And those are gonna be great ways to make sure that you're only getting targeted people. When you're running ads, it's important that they are connecting with people because that's how they're gonna get out their checkbook. If we just see the PTA asking for money, it just looks like the PTA is asking for money again. So don't do that. Do something that will connect with people and show them what you've already done with the money. The best advice I can give here is to do a compelling video Slideshow videos are great of photos that you've done um, or some sort of collage ad if you're only wanting to do an image that will illustrate what the PTA has previously done with funds to make a difference in the school. Using pictures of students, if you can, and you might need to have releases signed for this, will create more of an emotional attachment because people are seeing students and people that they know that are being affected by the funds that are raised. So if you can show that we sent, you know, 400 kids to outdoor school last year, or we bought books for this program and we did this, and you can show what a difference that's made to the children, people are more likely to donate than they are if you just send home a paper with a bullet point list of the things that you've done with the money in the past. That may take some creativity, but there's apps out there to help. And one of my favorites for um, graphics is canva.com. That is C-A-N-V-A.com. And most of the things on there are free. Some of them are a dollar an element, but for the most part, you can find free things or just use their layouts to create a cool design with photos you already have and you'll have a really great professional looking piece that you can use for your ad that is going to help you to get more donations than you would get with just a simple piece of paper. If doing a video, this can get a little bit more challenging depending on the software that you have at hand, but iPhones have iMovie on them. You can very quickly make a slideshow presentation, add some music, do make sure if you add music that it is copyright free music. You cannot use copyrighted music, especially if you're gonna run an ad on Facebook. Use Facebook to follow up. So don't just ask for money and then disappear. Make sure that you're following up later and showing people the effects that their donation had. This is going to do two things. One, it will reestablish that the donors made the right decision in donating and it'll show them what you did. But two, it will reinforce to the people who did not previously donate that you're doing great things with the money and in the future when you do an ask campaign, they will want to donate. So take all of these things, put them together and you have a really, really great PTA campaign that you can run year round and hopefully raise more money than you would otherwise raise with your um, paper campaigns or your jogathons. This doesn't mean that you can't still do those. Those are great programs. The kids have a lot of fun with them. But as an addition to what you're already doing, running Facebook ads and targeting people on Facebook is a great way to get people involved and raise more money for the PTA. So those are my top tips for using Facebook for the PTA. If you have a suggestion or an idea, I would love it if you leave it down below in the comments. I read all of the comments and you'll definitely get a response. We can also add it in another video or post it on the blog. I have new videos every Thursday that help you connect with people online. Please hit the subscribe button 
or head on over to ingrainsocialmedia.com. The link is in the about section. Download our free ebook, 24 Proven Tips to Get More Followers and Boost Your Engagement on Social Media. I will see you all next Thursday. Have a great week.